Hey guys, and welcome to Words of Scale. So many people have asked me about the GPT-4 quiz, which I hosted on trickmino.ai, and this thing <laughs> that took me 15 minutes does get traffic, although this is a fresh domain. And this is just a very simple question-answer format about what is true and what is not about GPT-4. And I thought I would record a video that will allow you to turn any piece of content, namely articles, uh, although this can be done with videos as well via transcription into the quizzes and very neat materials that you host on your website. Because these things, they attract links. And as we all know, the more links, the better, especially with the, the advent of AI content. So presumably, even though I don't agree with this statement, but everyone is, uh, is capable of writing um, the same high quality articles so the differentiating point would be links and things like these ones are lead magnets or link magnets rather so without further ado i have already chosen my target article this is on uh, one of my websites and this has to do with the postponed life syndrome and this is a very lengthy article i think this is in excess of uh, 5000 words and I would normally just go to Playgrounds, use GPT-4 and insert the whole lot all at once. But I do realize that many of you do not have access to GPT-4 API within the Playground. So we'll be doing this exercise within the ChatGPT interface. So first I need to know how many words this is. And this is 5,400 uh, words. So we'll go to ChatGPT. We'll make sure to choose GPT-4 because it's better with coding than GPT-3.5. And we will prime GPT-4 first. We'll go, I'll be pasting in several pieces of text. And I want you to respond with received and nothing else. I'm a spelling genius. Okay. Received. Even though I expected GPT-4 to answer <laughs> okay. That doesn't matter. So let's do this in iterations. We'll go, this is 1200 words, which is perfect. So we'll just paste it here. Received, beautiful. I don't need this anymore. Another part, which is right about here. Now we can, can do more. This is about right, so this is 1600 words. And whenever GPT-4 starts doing this, we just, this is one of the troubleshooting strategies, we just go no, confirm the receipt of the above text by writing by Answering received. Received, beautiful. Thank you, ChatGPT. And another one, I think we'll have to do one more. Frequently asked questions, and this is uh, 1200 words as well. In conclusion, no, once again, we don't want that. No, received, thank you. GPT-4 has been stubborn today. And the last part, received, beautiful. We have just fed 
uh, GPT-4 with 5,000 words. So this is all the information GPT-4 can use. And the prompt is going to be like, based on all, all the information above, generates gibberate. This is a new word that I have invented. Generate an HTML code with inline CSS for a quiz about how to know if you have the postponed life syndrome. And this should generate us a code, which we will then insert into Code Beautifies HTML Viewer. And what I hate about GPT-4 is that it will do some coding uh, in this manner here, and then it will, it will switch <laughs> to this window, and it will switch back. And it's just, it's not very convenient and user-friendly. But oh well, we're just copy-pasting here, so I shouldn't be complaining. So this is now setting up the quiz. And it should be generating the actual question shortly. And this is our H1, so basically the title of the quiz. And this is the first question. Are you constantly feeling like life is passing you by? And you can say yes or no. And now the second question, I'd assume. Question number two, do you feel stuck in an unfulfilling situation with no clear path forward? So this is at least uh, as far as I can tell, even though I'm not a coder, as far as I can tell, ChatGPT is in fact, generating a quiz for us, which we can insert into our page and make it more clickbaity or linkbaity rather. Continue the code. Question number five Do you frequently postpone important goals or plans for the future? I do. Maybe I suffer from the postponed life syndrome. And if it's um, a working quiz, I will try and pass it. So let's see if I indeed have suffered from the postponed life syndrome. Question number six, do you have difficulty managing your relationships, finances, or self-care due to feeling stuck in your current situation? Have you noticed a decline in your overall well-being and life satisfaction? And in hindsight, I should have probably said how many questions I wanted, so I have no idea. Yeah, it's finishing up. Looks like the code is done. So seven questions in total. Now let's go to Code Beautify. And sometimes it's just does weird, th weird things when you're trying to glue together parts of the code. Let's hope we'll manage. And the last one, the last one. Okay, some questions. So, okay, are you constantly feeling like life, life is passing by? No, not really. Do you feel stuck? No. Have you experienced an adverse life events that might have come in? Yes. Are you starting to take action? Uh, no. Do you frequently postpone? Yes. Do you have difficulty managing relationships? Yes. Have you noticed a decline? No. Let's press submit. And quiz submitted. Please wait for the results. So uh, this is 
this needs work uh, so let's try and go back and redo the code above to include the final results based on the questions answered. So now we go back, we got back the code and the quiz seems to be working, but it does not return any results. It returns this quiz submitted. Please wait for the results thingy. Okay, so we just asked ChatGPT to enrich the code above with the actual results. So there is an internal logic that has been inbuilt into the code. So let's see if this actually changed the code. So P class, and we need to we need to substitute this part here and this one here. Okay, so let's see if it now calculates the results. Do you often feel like your life is on hold? No. Have you experienced prolonged period of feeling loss? No. Do you often dwell on missed opportunities? Yes. Make decisions? Uh, no. Do you forget postpone program goals, plans, future? Yes. Do you have to? No. No. Submit. You seem to have a low risk of postponed life syndrome. Keep striving to life of fulfilling life. Nice. And what if we choose everything here and we answer yes to everything? Submit. You may be at high risk of postponed life syndrome. Beautiful. So this is a working quiz. And I will now go to the admin panel of the page. So this is the actual page and I have two options here. I can create a self-sufficient page or post with the quiz only, or I can insert the quiz into the existing page. I have chosen the letter just for demonstration purposes. So we'll go custom HTML. This is our code. We copy it and we paste it over and then we can press preview. Once again, and this is our newly updated post with the quiz. So this is actually quite handy. Yeah, but I, I might need to do some tidying up. So there is a gap between the test and the beginning of the intro, but still you get the gist. And this is how you use GPT-4 to create quizzes from your existing content or the content of your competitors, which I don't advise, but still. All of the prompts are going to be in the ChatGPT prompts library. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.